Hey, good morning guys. Brian Garrity, Associates here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to use advanced finds to create specific views of your records and then to share those with other team members at your place of business or within your organization. So, uh, to start, so uh, to start, we're actually going to just create a regular advanced find. So, let's say for instance that you wanted to find any records uh, or any contacts, say, that were created within the last couple of weeks. So uh, I'm going to choose to use my active contact as a save view, as a starting point, and then I'll do a save as for this particular view. And I'll say that my create let's say within the last two weeks. So if I run a test search, you can see that I've got nine records that match that criteria. And I can do a save as for this and say, active contacts created in the last two weeks. Now that'll be a rolling kind of an advanced find. And no matter when you run this search uh, or run this uh, advanced find, it's going to show you any contacts that have been created within the last two weeks from that point. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Now, many people think that when they create an advanced find that it, it just sits there, it's a personal view, and um, that is true, but it's also something that you can share with people. And many people find that to be a really uh, handy little feature. And so once you've created it, let's say that I have now created my advanced find and it's been a couple of weeks since I've done so and I want to share it with you or somebody on my team, something like that. So I can click on Advanced Find and I can click on Save Views and look at that. Lo and behold, there's the view that we just created. Now, I want to share this, so I've clicked on the little tick box that's there and I can share this view. Now, at this point, I can add a user if there were other users in the system. If there was another team in the system, I could certainly add the, uh, the team. And uh, I can give them privileges to write or delete or not to be able to do those things, maybe not to allow them to share this view, that sort of thing. Um, I can also remove users if I've previously given them access to this particular view. So this way, uh, I can sort of make some building blocks for doing things like uh, team dashboards and things of that nature because all of that is based on views that you create that are specific to users. So you might create one that has my contacts and then put a uh, an interaction uh, with them or a number of interactions with them uh, as a goal metric or something like that that you can then reflect on a dashboard and it'll always be personally reflective of the folks that are uh, looking at those uh, charts and, uh, and how their permissions are set up. So that's it, that's really easy, there you go. Um, we not only created a, a view, uh, but we also shared it with some of our team members. Hopefully you found that uh, useful, helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to respond to them in kind. Thanks so much and have a great day.